the number seven from our Japan lineup, and this one, at least, is a little bit different. It's not uh, um, one of the Antoria jobs, one of the um, Fuji Gems. Uh, this is a Matsumoku, and, it, and in many ways, it's an original. Let's have a listen to this, Westbury, and then I'll tell you what I can. Okie dokie, uh, pick up time and starting with the non-original, we'll get into that in a bit, uh, bridge pickup. <laughs> uh, but very nice, all the same, into the centre. <laughs> Actually, the neck, usually, when I do the octave on that tune, I use the neck, so it should have sounded like... <laughs> Oops. 
Some are a bit like that. But the, the point is that it's got a nice voice, yes. So let's see how it cleans up. And again, starting with the bridge pickup. <laughs> Uh, well, now, in fact. So it's a Westbury, a Westbury standard double cut, as you can see. Well, it's kind of double cut anyway, isn't it? Um, and made of wood uh, of some sort. Uh, as it, you can see the wood here, where all of this finishy thing here is peeling and cracked off, because it's been left in a damp shed somewhere, hasn't it? A damp shed or some other damp and uh, place that uh, or damp sort of place that guitars don't like and and after all of that i mean admittedly all of the electrics had perished the knobs were absolutely seized solid uh, there was only one pickup work so i just started again and but other than that it plays really really well action where you want it 1.25 at the 12th, the neck is really, really nice. It's a nice guitar to play. It's a little bit different and it sounds great. There's plenty of, pe you'll see some figures back here. I think they're popping out in the mid to late eights, both of the pickups. Um, and it sounds, and, it's, and to, to be honest with you, the only thing, the only thing, and that will probably free up over time, the only thing that's not quite absolutely as you'd want it right now is that the G tuner is a, it's a little stiff but that's it a little stiff is it so uh, you do find these on eBay th this exact uh, make and model uh, they come from the Matsumoku factory in Japan and you and they come up and they and do you know what they're a bargain they're a bargain um, if you find, but if you find one, and again, like I always say, if you buy them on these old things, I think these are from the eighties, uh, late seventies, early eighties. Uh, but if you do find one, they are brilliant. Uh, but just make sure the stuff works because they're old. Um, the one thing that is really, really good about these, of course, and where they differ significantly from the other Japanese stuff that we've been looking at recently, is that these have got a set neck. And I think. It's a mahogany neck that I think is probably set into a mahogany body. Um, the, you know, so we've got two humbuckers. My strap keeps coming. Off. Two humbuckers. Uh, we've now and uh, I've wired up the pots so that they're in the same orientation as the Gibson would be, with the two volumes up here and your two tones down here. So every, you know, every, in fact, the only thing that I didn't have to replace electrically was the switch, which worked fine. Uh, yeah, twenty-two frets. The fretboard is ace. It really is ace, and the frets are ace as well. Uh, they look like acrylic dots to me, but the frets are in great shape. There's stacks and stacks of meat on them. Uh, the pickups... Don't know. Fished them out of the parts bin. Found two that worked, that looked like they might go in, and found a couple of pickup rings to match. Uh, they're not uh, four cores, they're not splitable. Ha <laughs> ha. Um, and it just, and it sounds, it sounds ace. This has turned out way better than I thought it would. And I'm so, so happy with it. But let me tell you, once again, I uh, will keep reiterating this. There's another couple of projecty things very possibly coming up. Um, don't buy a project. Do not buy a project. Even I mean, I do this kind of thing all the time. And 
and they tend to you push them to the back of the queue don't you, you find other things to do that are more interesting you know like worming the cat so you know think on before you take on a project if you're going to buy an old thing make sure it works or wrong if you're going to buy anything make sure it works okay that's it from me and the lovely yeah i know it's all right they've not heard of you either the lovely lovely westbury standard double cut lovely thing adios amigos we'll see you soon Ta-ra.